Hello, everybody, and welcome back. I have another uh, Oracle deck tour here. It's been a while since I did one. And so this is a special one because this is actually one that I backed through Kickstarter a while ago. But it was definitely well worth the wait. And that is the Embroidered Graveyard Oracle. So as you see, this is the book. And it is absolutely gorgeous here. I mean, all of the um, holographic details on this whole entire deck and on the book itself is just great. Obviously, you can read here to get kind of a sense of what is going on here with this particular deck. I definitely had to back this and get it. Um, because it's just, it's perfect to add for, you know, anybody's Halloween collection, especially, um, for Oracle cards. So, also, can we just talk about the inside of this book? I was so surprised when I opened this up and I saw these details. Like, it's so gorgeous. I cannot. But the book itself is, again, it's beautiful. And obviously we have the descriptions for all of the different cards. And the this deck does have um, definitely an emphasis on ancestors connecting to past on loved ones. So if you are interested in doing or you do normally do spiritual work in regards to that, this might be definitely a deck that you want to pick up. So here's the actual uh, box where the deck is stored itself. Again, we have a bunch of these really beautiful metallic um, holographic details here. I love the color of this too with the orange and the black. Again, perfect for Halloween. So we go ahead and we open it. We have the little words inside and then we're going to pull out the deck here. And again, we have this lovely pattern in the inside as well. So as well as on the, again, there's just so much attention to detail with this deck. Again, so worth the wait. Um, it did also come, because I, again, I backed it on Kickstarter. It did come with a little um, enamel pin as well, which was super cute. But here's the deck. Look at the gilding on the edges. It's so pretty. Uh, but here we have the, of course, the backs of the cards themselves. And then we have the first card within the deck here. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to go flipping through all of these. So obviously it's called the embroidered or graveyard Oracle for a reason, um, because obviously the kind of content matches the whole graveyard theme, but basically what she did was embroidered and created every single one of the images that you see here and then i think through the kickstarter or through her website she was uh selling these embroidered original pieces as well i believe so at least so it's just a really unique not only a unique um style of art but a really interesting way of going about obviously creating a deck in that way. I think this is a really great image right here. The sacred rage. And then obviously, I mean, look at, again, the details on here and all the holographic stuff. I just, I absolutely love it. It's so satisfying. I like this. Here lies an Oracle reader who lived by the sun and loved by the moon. I think that's so beautiful. But again, the, there's kind of a nice witticism I feel like also with the pieces, self-love, we have ether, we have create, which is card 13, that's fitting. I mean, the, the amount of detail and just thinking about the time it takes to obviously do all of this hand stitching for each one of these pieces. I mean, it's absolutely amazing. The dedication to creating this deck. I think not a lot of people realize how long it takes just to make an Oracle deck, even when you're doing um, traditional or digital artwork. It takes, it, like for especially a tarot, you're, that, you're basically committing to at least a three three to five year dedication to create a full deck. Um, 
I'm trying to remember the exact number of how many cards are in this deck, but it's just mind blowing because of the, the amount of work and time, because this is embroidery on top of it. So it's like all of these little stitches and colors. It's just, it's amazing. I really, really appreciate all of the work and effort that went into this deck. I love this one, Rain Breaker. It's really pretty piece. Perspective, cunning. I love that there's a fox included. We have winter solstice. So we have the solstice. Yeah, the solstice. Well, I cannot speak today. The solstices are also represented in this deck, so you can you know relate to specific time periods as well. We have the witch, the temptress absolutely love this i love the uh the difference between what you see above the water and what's below the water rebel we have celebrate uniqueness letter to death beauty pathfinder sanctuary weaver Ooh, balance. We have the crow's eye view. Love and blood. <laughs> Surrender. Um, breath between. Expan uh, expression, excuse me. Little ones. Passed on loved ones. Companion. See, and this is where you start to get into... Uh, again, like dearly departed, you know, loved ones and pets, pinky swear, they, them, we have innocence, twins, brother, sister, lovers, mother, father, grandma, Grandpa, ancestors, community, spring equinox, the autumn equinox, and of course, lastly, we have Sawen with the Veil Walker. So that, so there's 68 cards in this deck. Again, it's absolutely beautiful. I, I can't get over the colors, too. I just, it's so satisfying to my eyes. But that is the full deck of, of course, the Embroidered Graveyard Oracle. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little flip through, even though I was a little bit rambly with my words. But I definitely highly encourage you guys to go and check out her social media links that you guys saw here, like on the back check out this project, go look at her, the deck. I'm pretty sure she has it listed on her website as well. Um, yeah, it's gorgeous. I think it's well worth to include in anybody's collection. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next one.